Team HQ Sports, welcome to our first ever NHL trivia game. I'm your host, Lauren Gambino, and before we drop the puck, I want to thank all of our veterans and current servicemen and women for all of the sacrifices they have made and continue to make for our freedom. Truly important to remember this Memorial Day while we're enjoying the holiday with friends and family, and then hopefully winning some money, right? In honor of Game 1 of the Stanley Cup Finals happening right now, we are going for 12 rounds of NHL Trivia. All oh, hockey trivia tonight. If you could skate through all 12 rounds, you will become our first hockey MVP, and you'll be taking home a piece of our prize. $1,000 is on the line tonight. So you better have a game like Jaden Schwartz, pulling out hat tricks left and right so you can get to that prize. We are fresh in season four. If you haven't already, make sure you update your HQ app to experience all of our new features. You'll be earning points for answering questions correctly, of course, leveling up and all of that. And you'll maximize your points by sharing those levels on social media as well. Because it's a new season, I know most of you are not where you once were in level, so I'm going to help you out tonight. How about five times the points tonight? Yes, that means every question will be worth five times their normal amounts. That should speed things up for you, right? But hey, if you are a hockey super fan and you feel like this is your time to shine, then pick up an extra points multiplier to capitalize even further. I know how many of you have been asking tirelessly for a hockey-themed game, so why don't you pile on those points tonight? If you're more of, say, a basketball fan, then you're not going to want to miss Wednesday night. It's our NBA trivia right before the final start on Thursday. That's going to be this Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time in honor of the NBA finals. I mean, playoff hockey, playoff basketball, you can't go wrong. All right, team, you know how I work. I need to get a good warm-up in before game time. I always ask a question on Twitter, at HQ Sports. That's where you can go to do our little warm-up, but you don't gotta worry this time. I'll give it to you here, too. Game one just started. How is this thing gonna go? I want to hear from you right now. Who will win the finals? Or will it go to game seven? Who's gonna win decidedly? The Blues or the Bruins? Will they take it? Or will it go to a game seven? Come on, I want to see what you think. Oh my goodness, wow, this was a close one. But 38% of you said the Bruins are going to take it. What do you think, four or five? Mm, we'll see. The last time these two, two teams met in the finals was in 1970. Bobby Orr scored the game-winning goal in sudden death overtime. Oh, yes, that was one for the ages and that celebration at the end. Love it. How's it going to go down this year? It took almost 50 years for this rematch. Hey, at least they wear helmets now, right? Moms everywhere are way happier about that. All right, I promise you a quick game of HQ Sports so you can give your full attention to the other game going on. So to the over 100,000 players ready to win some cash, let's go. Round one starts right now. What was Hall of Famer Maurice Richard's nickname? Mo Hockey, Mo Problems. The Rocket, Tricky Ricky. Oh, all great nicknames. You know I love a good nickname. Everyone in the chat. Arguably the first great scorer in NHL history, Maurice. The Rocket Richard was the first man to score 50 goals in a season and the first to score 500 in a career. The Rocket, 66,611 of you getting that one right. Nicknamed The Rocket for his speed, of course. You guys were pretty speedy here on round one. But hey, check this out. You can now use multiple lives, multiple extra lives to win HQ. Are those TKO questions standing in your way? You can now use one, two, or even three extra lives in a single game of HQ to become an MVP. Yes, get your hands on that prize, but you can only buy extra lives once per game, so stock up now to make sure that you are ready when you least expect it. All right, round two coming at you. The Stanley Cup is named after a what? Person, place, or thing? David. What is it? The Stanley Cup was named 
for Lord Stanley of Preston, Canada's Governor General, who commissioned a trophy to be given to the nation's top amateur hockey team in 1892, and the NHL adopted it in 1926. Person, Lord Stanley, 73,903 of you knew that history about the oldest, most storied trophy in sports and arguably the most beloved, right? Round number three. What is the largest advantage a team can have on a power play? One player, two players, or three players? We're having some fun. Our first ever hockey-themed game. What's your team? I want to see who's represented here tonight. Drop your team in the chat right now. All right, no matter how many penalties one team gets, there will never be more than a two-man advantage in the NHL. Two players is your answer here. 62,269 of you knew that one, of course. Although, I mean, how fun would it be to see one team just completely clear it off the ice after like five penalties? I'd watch that for sure. Round number four, here we go. Which of these is not currently an official in an NHL game? Umpire, linesman, or referee? Got to give a shout out to Peter Conley. He's playing from TD Garden right now. Yes, love that. In hockey, referees wear orange armbands and are responsible for watching for penalties and goals. Linesmen have no armbands and call infractions like offsides and icing. Umpire, nope, not part of an NHL game. 56,094 of you getting that one right. Yep, yeah, they're calling balls and strikes somewhere a little bit warmer, yeah. depending on where you are, not on ice. We'll say that. Yeah. Round number five, here we go. Who scored this Stanley Cup winning phantom goal in overtime? By Kilo to the net. Yeah. Yeah. And he stopped it. Where's the puck? Who scored it? Was it Patrick Sharp, Jonathan Taves, or Patrick Kane? Ah, uh, yes. Who was that? The whole phantom goal. Definitely one of the weirder ways to end a season and a really weird way to end a nearly 50-year drought. Patrick Kane somehow snuck this goal in without even the goal judge realizing it. Hence the lack of the satisfying red light and the air horns, right? Patrick Kane, 45,108 of you getting that one right. Also stunning the flyers there too. Yeah, he missed out on that air horn. So everyone just make that pew, pew, pew noise right now. Maybe he could hear it somewhere. Round number six. Six. Which of these teams has won the fewest championships over the past 10 years? The Pittsburgh Penguins, Chicago Blackhawks, or the Los Angeles Kings? I'm guessing T. What'd you do? Okay. Looking for the fewest. This decade has been dominated by two teams, the Blackhawks and the Penguins, who have each won three of the last ten cups. The Kings have won two. The Los Angeles Kings is your answer here. 22,000 on the dot. Getting that one right. Ah, uh, yes, the Bruins and the Capitals each won one to round it out to ten there. All right, you've made it to the halfway point. Things are getting increasingly difficult from now on. Round seven. Besides Gretzky and Lemieux, which player had the most points in a single season? Yaramir Yager, Phil Esposito, or Steve Iserman? Oh, yes, the greats like Gretzky and Lemieux, they're in a world of their own with the top 13 single seasons of all time when it comes to total points. Wayne had nine, Mario had four, but after that, it's Steve Iserman who put up 155 in 1988 and 89. Steve Iserman is your answer here, 14,807 of you getting this one right. Hey, I want you to vote on something. How about that? It's our seventh round stretch. Here we go. I want to hear from you. Who were you most surprised about during this year's Stanley Cup playoffs? Lightning, Capitals, or Blue Jackets? Ah, oh, tons of surprises because it's the Cup, right? Who were you most surprised or shocked about? What team? I want to hear from you. I want to hear what you had to say. Oh, and 50% of you said the Lightning, Tampa Bay Lightning. Oh, my gosh. That's right. That's right. Everyone was blown away when they got swept. Woo! Let's keep things moving. Round number eight. The last player to win the Conn Smythe on the Stanley Cup losing team played what position? Defense, goalie, or forward? 
Shout out to David Satriano, who literally tweeted this fact hours before the game today. All right, so the Conn Smythe is the playoff MVP, so naturally it usually goes to a player from the winning team. All the five players have won the award after a loss, the last being goalie Jean Sebastian Jaguer of the Ducks in 2003. Goalie is your answer here. 13,335 of you knew that one. Ooh, yes. These questions are getting to our toughest yet. Let's see if you can hang on for a win. Round nine. The original six era of the NHL began after the disbandment of a seventh team. From where? Ottawa, Cleveland, or Brooklyn? Hmm, seventh team. Where were they from? The original six were the New York Rangers, Chicago Blackhawks, Detroit Red Wings, Boston Bruins, Toronto Maple Leafs, and the Montreal Canadiens. But there was an even more original seven. Hmm, with... The Brooklyn uh, Americans, who ended in 1942. Brooklyn is the answer here. 5,470 of you getting this one right. Ooh, this one was a big one. Knocking out over 7,000, almost 8,000 of you here eliminated on this one. We are entering the final quarter. Let's do it. Round 10. When is a player allowed to deliberately pass the puck to a teammate using his hand in the offensive zone in the defensive zone or never hmm. using his hand a player is allowed to top the puck with his hand in the defensive zone and bat it along the ice but if the ref judges it to be an intentional pass in the defensive zone play is stopped and a face-off is called so never rule 67.1 nerds 2,341 of you getting that one right. Another kind of semi-knockout one here. Oh, my goodness. There's over 4,500 of you eliminated here at round number 10. We got two left. Let's see what happens. Round 11. Which of these teams was not coached to the Stanley Cup Finals by Scotty Bowman, Buffalo Sabres, Pittsburgh Penguins, or the St. Louis Blues? We got two left, team. Let's go. Scotty Bowman has the record with nine Stanley Cups as a coach. He won five with the Canadians, three with the Red Wings, and one with the Penguins. He took the Blues to the finals three times, but he didn't win, and he was unable to get the Sabres quite that far. Buffalo Sabres is your answer here at round 11. 2,520 of you getting that one right, and you know what that means. You are moving on to the final round ah oh, yes it all comes down to this you played a great game so far you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take the goalie out you got an open net the shot is all yours can you get it in here for the win it's up to you no one's standing in your way but you let's see round 12 what player won the con smythe a year before winning the award for top rookie ken dryden gordy howe or patrick wah this is when it matters most. It's weird to win any award before you win the award for top rookie, right? But it's especially weird to win the playoff MVP before you get your rookie of the year trophy. Wah was the youngest Conn Smythe winner, but Ken Dryden pulled it off for this. Ken Dryden is your answer here. And we have 1,082 new HQ Sports Hockey MVPs. And but it's 92 cents more than you had 16 minutes and 19 seconds ago. JTMC0310. Ooh, I see you looking at me. There you go. 92 cents is coming your way. Bud Wisely, interesting. 92 cents is coming your way. Enjoy that sunset. ATM1202. 93 cents is coming your way as well. What a game! Man, the hockey fans.
fans didn't just show up tonight. You all made this look easy. Enjoy the win. Skate out to center ice. Or, you know, just give me an air high five through the phone. That works too. Hey, we play HQ Sports every Monday and Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. This Wednesday, we are doing something special for the NBA Finals. It's going to be all NBA trivia. Two themes, one week. My mind is blown. Hey, stick around. Trivia and words are on deck. I'm Lauren Gambino. Until next time, remember to hydrate, focus, and keep your head in the game.